Let's look at the states we have not called yet. In Pennsylvania, Donald Trump in the lead there is still 51.1% of the vote. 号称史上最焦灼的美国大选，但开票后，川普一路大幅领先。看看选前民调都显示，川赫两人五五坡。A month ago, it was Harris by three. Look at where we are today. It's Harris by three. Simply put, this race hasn't moved. It has been continuously very, very tight. 事实上，过去两届没选，民调机构预测已失准两次。Take a look at Michigan. Michigan is a state that Donald Trump won. By a razor-thin margin, but what were the final polls saying about Michigan in the lead-up to the election? Hillary Clinton 42, Donald Trump 38. This is at the margin of error. This poll should be seen as it's anybody's game. 二零二零年，许多民调预期拜登会大胜川普七到十个百分点，最终也没发生。Which is basically that we didn't have enough Republicans. In the polls themselves, and so that's why we saw this understatement about the support for for Trump. 专家表示，过去几次选举，民调普遍低估共和党和川普支持度。许多隐形川粉不愿意透露投票意向是一大因素。What we found was that just the weeks prior to an election, a 95% confidence interval. Really, only captured the true election outcome. 专家分析，如果这届民调准确度和二零二零年差不多，贺锦丽根本不可能有胜选机会。不少专家认为，民调参考价值还不如赌盘来得准。选前喊出空前拉锯，开票却毫无悬念。三度失准的美选民调也给全世界上了一课。三立新闻，黑雅涵报道。